Hey everybody, this is Mark with Apple Tech One Tweet, and in this video, we're going to be showing you how you can recover data from any device with Stellar Phoenix Mac Data Recovery. This is a really awesome app that will allow you to recover data from corrupted devices, data if you deleted it, and so many different things. So let's go ahead and check it out. So opening up the app, it will take you to the main page where we can go ahead and start a new scan or we can resume one, which is really nice because if you have a big, huge media device, it may take a while for it to scan, so you can resume it from before, which is really nice. If we click this button down here, we can go ahead and take a look at some of the different features the app has to offer and how we can recover our data. We can go ahead and click here to create a new scan and we can pick our device. We can either go at the disk level or the partition level. So for this, I have a flash drive connected. And as you can see, we get a couple of different options. At the disk level, we can search for lost or deleted volumes, raw recovery, which is going to go ahead and bring everything back you've ever had on the drive. And we can also go ahead and create an image of all the media. At the partition level, we have a couple of different things like recovering data that has been lost, also, data has been deleted in the same raw recovery and creating an image. We can pick either of them and it doesn't really matter which one you pick. I always like to go for the disk level just because if you create a different partition, it may not show up. So let's go ahead and take our flash drive right here and we'll go ahead and draw this on here. And now we have a screenshot on our drive like that. But let's say I delete it, it's gone. And why don't we go ahead and empty the trash while we're here. So the picture is nowhere to be found. So let's go ahead and scan the drive for our lost deleted item, start the scan, and let the process begin. So this is our visual representation of what is actually scanning, and it creates different blocks for the different parts of the drive that it has searched. As you can see, it's already found one deleted item, which is likely our picture. One thing that I noticed that others do have, but this one doesn't, is a time remaining. It doesn't show the elapsed time or the estimated time remaining. They're usually not that accurate, but at least I like to know about how long it's going to take. So that's something you don't get with this app. And once it is done, it will say that it has found a certain number of items and we can go ahead and click OK, and we have our different drives on here that has added, and this is where we can go ahead and recover our items. Now we can go ahead and hit Recover Data and start the scan on our lost thing, and it will say it's already done, and you can see we have different folders and we can have different views as well for what we are looking for. It'll help you find whatever you've lost much quicker and easier. And we can just pour through all these different folders, look at the whole entire list, and see what you might have got rid of. We can even search for it right here and refresh the list. So it makes finding what you lost really easily. So let's go ahead and search for our file, which we have over here. And as you can see, it has already found one and it says this is a deleted file. And let's see, it says 40255. And this one is 40255, that's the exact same one. We'll go ahead and check that, hit recover, select a destination, let's put it on our downloads because I already have that in the desktop. Select multiple items at a time. And when it is done, you can see we have our screenshot right here and it has two of them because there's two different locations, I guess. But it is exactly the same. This is the one it recovered. This is the one that actually is. You don't see a difference at all. It's really awesome. It works. It's able to pull back files I've actually deleted. And it's a really lifesaver. It's saving quite a few times. And I really do like this app. If you guys are interested in checking it out, I'll drop a link to it down below. And you can pick one up for yourself. If you like this video, leave a like and hit that subscribe button for more videos like this. This is Mark with iApple Tech 128 and I will see you in the next one.